I said I was going to write like a script for me to go by or just have bullet points that I'm going to touch on. But I just want to flow with the conversation. I feel like it's going to present itself in the way that it needs to. The message still will be heard and I will still be able to express myself. This video and this conversation is long overdue. I'm finally here to talk about it. So as you can see from the title, forgive yourself for the lack of self-love. Now, I heard this other YouTuber speak not on this topic, but she mentioned what I just said in one of her videos to forgive yourself for the lack of self-love. And I immediately wanted to make a video about it and also to really check myself and to forgive myself and to be gentle with myself for the lack of self-love that has been lacking. Recently, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but recently I have left or me and a person have left one another because the situationship was super toxic. Neither one of us was helping the other person grow. At least I feel like I wasn't being helped to grow. And I was also putting this person above me. And I am not blaming that on them. I'm forgiving myself because that's something that I allow myself to do. And even before this person, I've always been like that. In high school, college, and every time I find a relationship, I tend to neglect myself because already I'm not really showing myself that day-to-day self-love like I need to. And um, I'm checking myself on that and bringing that to the table like, honey, and I'm promising myself that before I go forward in anything else that is romantic or platonic to always put love into myself. And I know that looks different for everybody. So for me, self-love is getting up, making my bed, stretching, doing some type of active movement, breath work, writing down whatever it is I'm feeling or affirmations or just something positive, scripting my day. What is what is my day about to look like? Um, Looking myself in the mirror, brushing my teeth, telling myself, girl, I love you. You are beautiful. You are worth everything. You are enough. You are enough. Either you have someone here by your side or not, you are enough. That is what self-love looks like to me. And that's just in the, in the risings. So as the day continues, what also looks like self-love to me and for me is me still continuing on saying these beautiful words of encouragement to myself putting clothes on that allow me to express myself to look good and then feel good. To make sure that I'm drinking plenty of water all day long, to eat fruits, to eat huge salads, to get my favorite meal from Chipotle. Like that is what self-love looks like for me. And again, I'm not done. To do rituals that allow me to release. If that's through crying, writing things down and burning the piece of paper, dancing, just putting, pouring so much love into me. So I continue to build my confidence up, you know, build myself up, go to the gym. Now, when I know a lot of people um, like to go to the gym because they want to look like a certain look, you know, for me, I, I love my body the way it is, but I just want to be active in my body allow my body to move, to be flexible, to build my stamina, and also to gain mental clarity because exercising also is helping us with our mental to clear the fog. Self-love for me is occasionally taking shrooms that will also help me allow, allow myself to uh, unlock things within me, to pour out to release, to have clarity on things that I may was suppressing, even though I may didn't know I was suppressing it, but allowing it to come to the surface so I can be real with myself, be real with the loved ones around me, and just transform me. 
that is what self-love is for me and i'm still not done <laughs> okay and this is something that and not the shrooms per se but everything else i mentioned is something that i will be choosing to do daily daily so when someone does come in my life I will have that strength. I will have that discipline. I will have that love for myself that no matter whether they are here or not, I'm still going to be building myself up. To say no when I want to say no, to not be a people's pleaser, you know, like yes, to show love and to be selfless, but also to know when to be selfish as well. So that is this is me putting everything out on the table and saying that i forgive you for the lack of self-love and this has been going on for years 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 I, I just value relationships whether it's platonic or romantic i value them so much and nothing's wrong with that but it is a problem and can become a huge issue if i'm always putting others before me before my, myself you know, and this is not from a place of bitterness. This is from a place of love to acknowledge these things and to actually change what's not working and what has not been working for me. I'm just, I really, <laughs> I really am choosing me. Not because it's 2023, allegedly. Not because you know my heart is broken but because it's time it's been time to sit with myself and and that too being okay with being with myself by choice because i have people in my life that love me that want to be around me consistently that 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 has told me that they love my presence and i'm grateful for that because most of the time, people don't express that to me. So I have people now in my life who love me and who, who want to grow with me and grow on this journey. We grow on e with each other on our journeys. However, still, me having my time to myself, um, hermit mode, whatever you want to call it, but just continuing to build myself up, knowing when I walk in any room, or when I even walk in this room, my head is held high and I feel good about myself. So that's what self-love is for me. And again, I, that's not it. There's more, you know, but this video will be super, super long. But this is just to give you a reminder that forgive yourself for the lack of self-love and start truly loving yourself. You know, I know we see so many videos about how to love yourself, maintenance, self-care, but it's more than getting your nails done. It's more than getting your makeup done and your hair done. It's about going within yourself because at the end of the day, these bodies are temporary, but the soul, the spirit is infinite. So that is what we need to be watering more. Not to say that those things won't, not to say that those things don't make you feel good as well because they do they do when we look good we feel good but i want both i want to feel good on the inside and i want to look good on the outside and i know for a fact feeling and being good on the inside will automatically reflect the outside shell automatically you know and also too self-love is for me mastering my emotion and this has been a tough one for me <laughs> I can sit here on this camera and tell you how to do it and how I am doing it, but it's not perfect and it's not um, always good. You know, I have my moments. I have a lot of moments. Like just recently, I was enraged. It was allowing my emotions to overpower what I was saying and what I was doing. And that is not who I'm choosing to be. That is not who I wanna be. So sitting with myself, recognizing my triggers, um, recognizing when I'm about to blow. I know how my body is, how it's feeling. Though those butterflies, the, the tightness of the chest, the the not breathing. <laughs> like I literally feel myself stop. I literally stop breathing. So figuring those things out within myself, practicing it on the day to day basis. So it's 
sticks because I can talk about this all day. But if I'm not practicing this, then nothing is going to change. Nothing. That is what self-love is for me. Me being the best that I can be every single moment, every single day. And even then, every day won't be a good day. But with that day not being good, me automatically knowing how to make it the best that I can to find a solution versus finding or sitting in the problem to be optimistic and not pessimistic. These are the things that I will be practicing every single day to show myself I love you. I love you. And even if others don't love you, I love you. I'm never alone. I'm not going nowhere. I'm always here with me. This go around, I'm allowing space for myself, allowing space for people who actually value me and love me. And just showing the fuck. Okay, I'm not gonna curse, but just showing the fuck up for me. Like showing up for me. I know I said I wasn't gonna curse, but I just had to say that with some oomph in it. Like showing up for me. Because it's been time, it's long overdue, and I deserve that. I deserve it. I deserve it. No more looking outside of me for validation, for security, for love, because that's all within me. It's all within me. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Um, um, I think that's all I really wanted to say. Um, yeah, so this video is like I said, you see the title, you hear if you have made it to the end of this video, thank you for taking the time out to listen to me, hear me out, and just actually give time to my presence. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. and. Peace.